Hello and welcome to Black Box Trading. I'm your host, JT, and here on the channel, we focus on Bitcoin fundamental and technical analysis. We have a beautiful technical analysis show for you today where we're going to dive into Bitcoin. Are we going to go up? Are we going to go down? Or are we going to trade sideways into an infinite amount of chop that destroys lives and ruins trading accounts forever and ever and ever? Let's get into the video. some very interesting things in the charts that we need to go over. There are some definite warning signs coming into the market that you have to pay attention to and you have to plan. There are always going to be three scenarios in any given consolidation. We either lean to the bull side where we expect a breakout, we lean to the bear side where we expect further downside prices, or we continue the established consolidation. So We've got our first kind of bearish warning here. If we take a look, alphanumetrics has just flashed red. You can see the green wave has transitioned to red. This is our first warning sign. So we have hit the price targets inside of the consolidation that has flipped the alphanumetrics bias from bullish to bearish. What we're looking at here is what I've identified as some sort of an accumulation phase. The price expansion that we've seen may have been a little bit ahead of schedule. So it's healthy to have a consolidation. A lot of people think that, that you know, price always goes up. The reality is price spends more time consolidating in a range than any other position. So if you're very bearish, you're statistically incorrect. If you're very bullish, you are statistically incorrect. The most probable outcome is continued consolidation because price is most of the time inside of a consolidation. Our consolidation range is uh, anywhere between here, between $70,000 and approximately $62,000. On the alphanumetrics indicator, all of our moving averages are in bearish alignment. We are at the bottom of the channel and we just took out this local low here at uh, about, about 60,000. So it's not a good sign for the bulls. This is showing that the bears definitely have some ability to uh, push this market. And I think it's just a lack of demand. You know, we aren't seeing the same levels of demand that we saw in previous months coming from the ETF. The ETF inflows have slowed down considerably. So to break this down, anything above zero is an inflow. All of these green lines below, this is all uh, GBTC with an outflow. So this is your supply and demand. Tons and tons of demand. Every single one of these candles is higher than the outflow. Every single inflow is higher than the outflow. Until recently, look at the volume. It's really nothing. There is no demand. These last couple candles here, very little to no demand at all. Um, so until we can see demand overtaking supply, you're not going to see an increase in price. And let's break things down onto the daily. So the daily, we did get our bearish cross here on the moving average, and all of our moving averages are back in bearish alignment. We are trying to capture the moves when momentum is present. We have uh, still been able to scalp a few profitable trades in the private trading group. If you guys are interested in uh, taking a look at some of our free trades and free signals, uh, QR code popping up on the screen right now. All that we ask is that you take a trade on one of our partnered exchanges. We have several partner exchanges for you to choose from, but uh, I digress. Um, the, the momentum is down, the trend is down. So what is the assumption? The trend is your friend until it ends. We need to assume lower prices at this point in time. I'm still neutral until we can close some higher time frame uh, candles below this uh, wick here. It's looking like today's candle is going to do that. So at today's close, if it's still at the 60,400 level, then it's going to continue the downtrend. And uh, what are we looking at for target? Where can we see price begin to settle? Uh, for me, I want to, you know, if we do, continue this downwards trend, I wanna see price come back down to the 200. So coming back down to the wave here. And when we look at higher time frames like the weekly, we have spent one, two, three weeks below the seven moving average. This is again, indicating that momentum has slowed, demand is low, supply is high enough to move price down. So we also have uh, 
our moving average here at the 30. So we have confluence on the weekly and we have confluence on the daily. It's the daily 200 and it's the weekly 30 at around 49.3, 49.2. If this is your first bull market in crypto, I gotta tell you, this is normal. This is nothing out of the ordinary. This is perfectly normal price action. Typically, in a bull market, you will get multiple 30% retracements in a bull market, okay? So, you know, 30% retracement, let's just take a measured move here from the top down to here, you know, down to the support that we're talking about, down to the EMA, or sorry, down to the moving average that we're talking about, 33%. Nothing is out of the ordinary yet. Uh, in fact, you know, from top to bottom of this local move, it's only at 19%. It's only a 19% correction. Uh, Bitcoin does this all the time. So if you're new here, uh, welcome to crypto. You know, everybody comes in for the volatility, but volatility is not a synonym for number go up. Volatility is a two directional word. All right, so now I've got you all depressed that we're gonna head down to lower levels. What do I need to see to negate this bearish warning? And this is what we're looking for. We need to reclaim, test, and break some of these highs. If we can reclaim the $62,000 level, and if we can take out and stay above on a four hour candle or above 63,000, let's just call it 64 for safety's sake, um, then you know we're, we're still in the consolidation. And there's really, you can't entertain these really low bearish targets until you get confirmation that we are really breaking down. But there are fundamental factors as well that could contribute to the demand side of Bitcoin. Most notably, the brand new Chinese ETF. We have a Bitcoin and Ethereum spot ETF launching on the Chinese uh, stock exchange in Hong Kong. This can absolutely provide a source of demand to negate the bearishness that we're seeing on the momentum side in the US ETF inflows. But we're definitely going to have to do a lot better than this $6.3 million dollars in a in a day the, the etf inflows that we saw out of the american markets were hundreds of millions a day so they really need to step it up if they're going to negate the amount of supply that's still hitting the market today so what does this all mean what am, what am i saying here right now at this current moment in time i am allowing the price to show me what's going to happen next. If we start to see some high time frame candles break down to lower levels, I'm talking daily, the three day or the weekly, if we start to close those high time frame candles below 60,000, I'm going to assume that the $50,000 range is on the table. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think we're gonna continue to trade sideways? Do you think that this is kind of a fake out and we're actually gonna start getting bullish as a result of the Hong Kong ETFs? Or are you positioning yourself for further downside to kind of that 50K levels? Let me know your thoughts down below. That's it. That's all the time I have for today. If you guys enjoyed this content, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and check out the links down below or scan the QR code that's popping up on the screen right now to gain free access to our VIP signals group. So until next time, please trade safe. It is jungle out there. Peace.